gentlemen. Um, so, I mean, obviously, you know, less than two weeks of game day now. I guess, how would you evaluate where the pass protection is and all that in terms of where you want it to be and what you need to do? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's crazy, only two weeks away now. So, um, you know, last last couple of weeks of camp definitely flew by. Um, you know, as a unit, as an offensive line, we, I, I feel like we've definitely made a lot of a lot of improvement and and taken some strides throughout the last couple of two weeks. Um, you know, we, we did some good things this, this last Saturday in the scrimmage um, for sure. Definitely improvement week to week there. But um, you know, in terms of pass protections, we still got things we, we got to clean up, um, which. Um, saying that, I, I still have the utmost confidence in, in this group and, and the guys that we have to get it done. So, um, you know, we still got got a, got a couple weeks to get it done uh, to where it needs to be um, before UCLA. Hey, Liam, uh, this is Glenn West, Kelsey Country. Um, I know last week they mentioned that, you, you know, one of the big things you guys wanted to work on was the communication. And I'm just, you know, curious how much you think that's improved even over the last week um, and how that went during the scrimmage on Saturday as well. Yeah, I, I think that that we actually improved in that area a good amount. Um, you know, uh, throughout the, the last week, we had some guys go down on the O line, so um, you know we we ha really had to stick together the guys that that were left. Um, yeah, and obviously it wasn't perfect by any means. There's still we got to improve a lot still, but um, you know, the one thing that I felt like we did a good job of was improving our communication um, with like the limited limited amount of guys that we had and the extra reps we had to take. Um, I felt that was one of our our, our better things that we did this past week. Oh, a weird question, but like, let's say first scrimmage, right? If you mind with that one, like, how do you guys as an O line or like a team like balance like trying to wrestle with? Hey, is that just is this D line just playing off the charts right now, and they look like they're a, you know great unit versus hey, you know maybe we have things we got to work on? Like, is the, what is the give and take there? If that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, so we every time that that. Um, the D line makes a good play. I mean, they're a good group. I'm not. I'm not saying any anything bad about them. But um, yeah, every, we we break it down on film, and, and we see it typically boils down to some like a, a technique error or, or just a little breakdown that 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 is fixable um, on the O line. So really, what what we're trying to do is make sure that those those errors um, and, and that little little lack of execution uh, they, they go away. So. Uh, you know, ultimately, our, our job, we're trying to get ourselves better. Um, you know, they're a great group in the D-line, but we if we want to be where we want to be um, as an O-line, we, we have to be able to, to block the best defensive lines in the country. So, Hey, Liam. Michael Cobble from Channel 2 here. Just every time uh, Coach O talks, he talks about Nussmeyer, um, you know, making plays, et cetera. What is it about that guy that, you know, gets people excited and, and are you at all surprised or is it just kind of the world we live in now where freshman quarterback come in and they're a lot more capable of contributing early because of the offenses they run in high school and the similarities that you guys are trying to do? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'd say I'm surprised. Um, it, it's pretty cool to see him him play, though. He, you know, he carries a little bit of a, a swagger about him, um, you know, just in the locker room on the field. So... I'm not too surprised to see him go out there and make plays because because that's that's what he does, you know. And uh, seeing his progression from the spring to now, it, it's been awesome. Uh, you know, even with Miles going down, we we have a ton of talent in the QB room uh, between uh, between Max and Garrett. So yeah, I mean, we've got some stories from some other guys about Max with like ping pong or different things, but you know. What is he like, kind of just away from just the football? Like, what is his personality, his demeanor like around you guys in the locker room? Yeah, Max. Um, you know, he 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 knows how to have fun and stuff and joke around, but uh, his, his appro attitude towards work and uh, just kind of business like approach uh, is something I really admire out of him. Uh, you know, he he takes everything, every every rep, every meeting. Uh, you know, he he takes advantage of it the best that he can. Um, and that's that's a mindset that I hope, and I, I've already seen it rub off on other guys on the team. So that's that's the type of leadership that I think uh, can go a long way for this team. Yeah, hey Liam, um, just you know, in terms of the running game, uh, obviously with you know Tyrion and, and John not around a lot uh, on Saturday, just talk about Josh Williams a little bit. It sounds like he's really kind of taken you know, control of that scrimmage on Saturday and, and had a pretty good camp. I mean, just what have you guys seen out of him? Yeah, I mean, uh, 
Josh is a hell of a player. Even when I first got here last year, um, b when, before he was put on scholarship, I, I mean, I looked at him like he was, he, he played no different than any of our other, other running backs. Um, you know, he, he's got a ton of talent and, and a great work ethic. Uh, you know, and he, he's taken advantage of opportunities that, that have uh, come to him. Uh, so, you know, between whether it's uh, John, Ty, uh, Josh, uh, Armani, Corey, any of our running backs back there, uh, you know, that they can all produce. So, so that's, that's a pretty good room for us. Uh, hey, Liam, uh, this is Shay Dixon with 24-7. Um, in terms of Max on the field, I know we hear about n numbers and scrimmages, but first team on first team practices, all that. How is, I guess, what areas have, has he really improved on uh, from where he was those final two games when you worked with him a year ago? Yeah, I mean, Max, he's just, he's getting more and more comfortable out there. Uh, yeah, more more comfortable um, with his understanding of the offense, um, building chemistry uh, with wide receivers and, and whatnot. You know, we we have some some great wide receivers. Uh, where if if we hold up as an O line and, and we uh, can can let Max feel comfortable in the pocket and make make his throws, they're going to make plays. So uh, you know, it, it takes all eleven. But uh, you know, just seeing Max back there, he he's he's poised for a big year. I think so. Hey, uh, Liam, Coach Ho had said yesterday not to read too much into how the, the offense is called with Garrett and Max on the field during the scrimmages. But what do you see in a difference whenever the plays are called for Garrett and how he operates the offense compared to Max? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know too much of a difference in the actual play calls. Uh, but just in terms of Garrett's always, Garrett's always trying to make a play out there, uh, you know, and, and something – that he's kind of improved on from the spring is knowing when to cut your losses, if that makes sense. Uh, and that's just coming with experience for him. So, uh, you know, Garrett's like we already talked about it, but his growth from the spring um, until now, it, it's been impressive. So. Hey, Liam Jacques, do you say WAP here in Baton Rouge? Uh, certainly you look bulkier than you did a year ago, or even certainly at your days at Harvard. Um, how much weight have you put on? Was that out of necessity to play SEC ball? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm about, uh, like 305, 310 right now. So I haven't actually put on too much weight. Um, I've been more just trying to convert the weight, uh, you know, into good weight, uh, throughout this past off season with coach Moff and stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I, I put in a, a lot of work this off season and, uh, you know, the intro camp. So I'm just looking forward to, to this season. Was there a moment last year when you went up against an SEC guy and it really struck you that this is? A lot different. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I guess it, the biggest thing for me was last year was just when we started camp and stuff was when really I noticed a difference. Um, but you know, I'm not one to to get intimidated or back away from a, from a challenge. So, um, yeah, that's that's just not who I am. So, Ilium, who would you give a shout out to on the defensive front? Uh, maybe a guy that's really you know, causing you guys problems and, and just somebody that, you know, hey, man, this guy's somebody to watch for. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're a good group. Um, you know, obviously you got got your playmakers between uh, Ali, um, Andre, and, and BJ coming off the edge. Uh, but someone who I think has had a, had a really solid camp has been Neil Farrell. Um, yeah, he, he's really showed up every day to work. Um, you know, and I'm going against him every day. Uh, inside and and you know I, I hope that I've been able to make him better and he's made me better so um, I, I've enjoyed how his mindset and how he's come to work every day so far this camp. Thanks, Thank you guys.